Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what side of the world you're in. I'm half my sister, and this is my hubby with Paige. What's everybody? Welcome to my channel and to another episode of Sister in a Wolf. What's poppin', babe? All right. As promised, we are back with another What's Poppin'. Slipknot. <laughs> What's next in line? Nero, Nero Forte. Forte. Yeah. Nero Forte. Yes. Comments pretty unanimous. Thank you all so much. On what is next. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what to do. Hit us with the next one so we can throw it on next week. But <laughs> for know, now, right? we're going to explore yet another song I'm from excited, this guys. album. So, so far, ah, awesome stuff. Yes. Um, real quick. What? The hurricane squeaked us by. It did, thankfully. We ended up only with tropical. Totally fine. Yes. Uh, Bahamas, not so much. Yeah. So, if you can give or donate, donate or anything, yes. but the Bahamas need help because that thing just stopped over the Bahamas yeah, and didn't go anywhere. Ah, uh, but man, then it just started hitting north and it squeaked by the coast. Yes, so did. we got thankfully. real lucky. Uh, ended up with basically a four-day weekend yeah. with the Labor Day and everything we else. Closed and yeah. So we binged the boys. We binged on the boys, and we also binged on ships. Did <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know that? And everything else. They don't need know. to know that. <laughs> we bought a lot of dry foods, expecting I'm a power drunk. outage. Then we ate up eating it anyway, even though. You always say if if we don't get the storm, we'll return it. We're gonna return it, it and we never. Then really we don't ever return do it. it. Then we just eat it. But we binge watch the boys, and oh my I'm goodness! I'm ashamed of myself. But yes, back to the boys. Yes. That show is like our new favorite show. That show is. It's the, it's the new hotness. Thank you all so much. That show is exactly what I wanted it to be, and the previews even led me astray a little bit. How so? Um, we're not gonna say anything because okay, not okay. everyone has seen the boys, right. but. Just oh my God, the finale you haven't though. Seen it, watch the finale it. of the first season. Careful, careful. Okay. <laughs> She's real bad with Good spoilers, stuff. guys. I'm horrible. If you want, if you ever need a secret kept, do not give it to her. And I don't mean She's any harm. She's the worst. <laughs> I don't mean any harm. She just accidentally spurts out <laughs> I'm things. Excited. When it comes to gift giving, I'm the worst. I gift never giver. tell her and what I'm getting our daughter or anybody else because she will accidentally spoil it. Always, so. Always. Be careful yeah, when really talking bad. around her because she will spoil shit for you if you are not careful. <laughs> All right. But yeah, awesome show, guys. Indeed. Very, very awesome show. Um, also, real quick, on the baby metal What's Poppin' that we just did, uh -huh. uh, some people brought it to my attention that they had an issue with me using the word gimmicky. Yeah. And I... Now, I'm going to defend myself because I don't feel like there's anything wrong with me using the word. It's not. I do realize I uh, when I did a little research that that is a common thing that people say about baby metal right. and they use it as in a negative, derogatory in, yes. and as an insult. Right, it has a negative connotation to it. Um, and so I certainly understood why some people had an issue with it. Um, but yeah, I mean it in the in the strictest sense of the word in that a gimmick is designed to stand out, to make yourself seem different from the others. Yeah. Um, in wrestling, don't even try coming into wrestling. I'm talking about, you know, the fake pro wrestling without a gimmick. It's exactly. required as a job. And um, all it is is doing something to make yourself stand, stand out. out. That's exactly. a, it's a gimmick. Exactly. Now, that does not mean that on top of the gimmick, there is no substance. So, Slipknot is a gimmick. Yes, indeed. Their masks are a gimmick. Exactly. Baby. When you think Slipknot, you realize that they have this unusual thing that makes them stand out and maybe go, hey, hmm, I wonder what they sound like. Right. They look cool. They look scary. They oh, look yeah. mysterious. Yeah. Okay? It's a gimmick. The masks are a gimmick. The performance mm -hmm. is a gimmick. Oh, However, the music is real. The music is legit. So, don't confuse that or make that seem... Like that is somehow 
the <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to diminish anything that anyone is doing when i right. use the word gimmick i use it in the sense that you are trying to stand out you're trying to do something different um what we do on this channel with me editing and trying to have fun and be comedic is a gimmick it is a gimmick the reaction channels gimmick. tend to be very straightforward <laughs> yes. and we try to do something different it's a gimmick, but we hope you like the gimmick yeah. so that you enjoy our reaction, which, if you've seen her reactions, are very real yes. and very heartfelt and very... Um, that's what you come for, is that reaction. Exactly. And then you enjoy the gimmick, and it's what makes us stand yeah, out. I hope you do. So <laughs> don't get hung up on that word, guys. Yes. That's all it is. It doesn't mean that something doesn't have substance. What's interesting is that you explain what you meant in the video. I did a little bit, but now I'm explaining it More further exactly. so that there is no confusion. Because other people left in the comments, well, if baby metal is, is a gimmick, then Slipknot is a gimmick like they well, were yeah. like that was gonna like <laughs> I was gonna get offended. Right. But no, it's like yes, you get it. That's exactly what I mean. Right. So that's what I mean, in case anyone is confused. Okay? No okay. harm, no foul. And it is not. We move on. Into life stops, of course. Nero Forte. Another interesting title. You know? Yeah. Another interesting Unsainted. title. Unsainted um soul wafer very unusual titles and nero forte um how is it spelled well the only nero i know is like the like neurological like within the cells in our bodies well no not like the abbreviation i was thinking more of like the uh uh the roman emperor nero. oh okay you know okay. um and forte is like a specialty. Such as, yeah, a specialty, yes. I mean, do you know any other use of forte? I don't know of any other uses of forte. Do you know any other, anything else named Nero? It depends on how it's spelled. N-E-R-O or N-E-U-R-O? It's N-E-R-O. Yeah. I don't. So if he's talking about Nero, uh, the emperor, he, uh, Nero was, you, are you familiar with Caligula? I do, I am. Okay, are you familiar with his madness? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Um, so Nero was maybe not as bad as Caligula, mm -hmm. but he was, It perhaps madness ran in their family. Perhaps it was the lead poisoning. It's hard to say because, you know, it's oh. we can't go back to that time period to know for sure, yes. but they were related. Yes, yes. And they also did go mad. Right. Or, or they've done things of questionable moral character. Right. Okay. So I wonder if the Nero Forte has something to do with having questionable moral character. Like that's your thing. That's your specialty. Wow. It's that's the only when I combine the two names. That's the only two things I think of. Gotcha. Um, so we'll explore the lyrics. Uh, I did pull up the the lyric video, so we'll be able to read the lyrics as the song goes. I'll try. There is no actual video to this song. <gasps> really? Okay. So we, we, okay. we'll just watch the lyric video instead. All right. And we'll see what it's about. And then we'll uh, see if the drums live up to Unsainted. Well, have <laughs> so been, far, Unsainted is still really the winner. They have been saying that in the comments, though, right? Not really. Uh, they said that the, the drums are good on this as well. Okay. Um, it's, it's, we should have like a, like a bracket. Dun, 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 I and, know, and right? Then, so we have Unsainted and we have Solway Firth. So here, let's, let's start now. So Unsainted, Solway Firth, which one's your favorite? Which, which one's number one or number two? Unsainted or Solway Firth? Yes. It'll definitely have to be unsainted, like really, hands okay. down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's unsainted for me as well. Hands down. <laughs> so unsainted, Solway Firth. Indeed. Let's, Let's see, see where Nero Forte. We'll, we'll just rate this the songs as we go. You're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I want my music to be I just don't want the, in my ear like piercing hole. through my... I, I, I do too, but still. All right. Ready? Ready? Okay. Got your volume control. I have Don't it. know how loud this is going to be. Let's okay. do this. Okay. I'll be drumming so far. You can see it's all over it. Ooh. This is so awesome. What's this? Oh, that's a snake. Rip. Wow. They know it's in the eyes and heart. Just a latest. 
Sure. So classic Slipknot. I love that part though. Ooh. Listen, that was classic Slipknot. Yeah, it was. The drums stood out a lot in this song. Yes, they did. Very much in the front. They also had kind of a um, a little drum line portion, uh, you know, dedicated drum line portion there uh -huh, as well uh -huh. towards the, the, the middle, second half of the uh -huh, song uh -huh. as well, which was good. Good song. Um, let's get that off the screen. Yeah, uh, thoughts. Give me thoughts. Like I said, uh, the song, this is a classic, in my opinion, this is a classic Slipknot sound. Mm -hmm. Like they took it back but to the But they all kind of have been. You they know, do. In their own way. Unsainted had way. a little something special that they sprinkled in there, right? Yeah. Um, this song was definitely more of a classic uh, Slipknot sound. Mm -hmm. The drums was a little heavier. Not necessarily heavier, but it stood out a little more than it normally would. 
Yeah, still not as much as unscented for me though. Definitely not as much as unsc- unscented. Like mix like, wise, I'm sorry guys, baby. just mix wise. Like, yeah, really yeah, though. yeah, definitely. The mm. drums were like crazy sick. Very good though. When you when you when you shift your attention to the, to drums, the drums on the song, uh-huh. then you start you to hear really... the complexity. Exactly. But but in unsainted, they just seem it's like right in the, in the front. Exactly, yeah, yeah. baby. Yes, it swallows you up. I still think unsainted so far is my favorite. My favorite of of of, of the three. We're here. Um, but where does this one go next? This would be have to be second or no, third. No, this would have to be third. Yeah, this one's for third. Me. This one's third for me as well. Um, and as the list goes on, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to go a little bit lower as well, because <laughs> and it makes me laugh. I didn't, I wasn't crazy about the chorus. Okay. And <laughs> okay, I, babe. you don't have to scratch me when I say something negative. It's not negative. It's my it's not opinion. Negative, darling. I know. It's you not get negative. so testy with me. Not First, true, not last, necessarily. last reaction, you took my Coke away. Yeah. I just, I just don't see a circumstance where I would, I would listen to this song I, I lost my coke because i'm i'm talking bad i'm sorry go I'm ahead sad. i'm listening i'm really hurt that i lost my kid <laughs> i'm, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but okay now i'm okay, entitled to listen, my baby, opinion we're here and i will say that, that you know i say that it's classic slipknot sound a more of a generic sound of theirs okay i would agree that the chorus was not like the best thing I've ever since sliced bread. Right. I appreciated the chorus, but bit, it wasn't anything like, like, yeah, extra yeah. Near, like extraordinary, like, wow, mm-hmm. the chorus stood out. So I, I agree with you with that. But I, I will say the that that riff oh, is man. hard as uh, hard as uh, yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah, that is true. Damn, damn, damn. That was so sexy. And every time it came, like, like part one thing I'll say that was good about the chorus is it took away from that riff so that when it came back, back you it felt it. that much harder and you, and you appreciated, appreciated it, it that more. Much yeah, more. Indeed, that's babe. and you just like oh, oh here it God. comes again and Can it's you just high five? it's a it's yeah. a it's a it's a, it's a nice so true. tasty job, riff yes, tasty riff here. absolutely well, indeed yes thank you guys so much anything yeah. else um I I think I picked a and and no disrespect to the to whoever made the the lyric video um i think it's better when you have the lyrics come up while he's singing the song in this case he put all the lyrics of the upcoming verses on as much Which is a as bit possible confusing. well and what i found happening was as i was trying to read the lyrics it was taking me away from the song i know which is why I so i had to stop lyrics. reading the lyrics babe now you feel me <laughs> well no but, but that's what i'm saying when when the lyrics come as he's singing mm-hmm. it's easier to follow and stay in the song right, because it's you're singing with his voice Corey, in your head the, the speed of the, the, the you know, this one was rough saying, I, I know what it's you're not saying so easy. They, they would go by like really quick Right, 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 right. So maybe I understand right. why he did it that way. Yes, but I can understand how that could be complex. I yeah. do not like to focus on reading lyrics. I want to be able. To, I want to absorb the music, and I want to yeah. be a part of the experience. And when I'm having to focus on reading lyrics and having to listen closely to what they're saying, it, it takes me out of the experience. So I did see some of it, but um. Well, as such, I'm gonna have to pull it up manually because uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to read them there. I, That's fine. I do want to see if there is any relation to, with the lyrics and Nero in some way. Okay. <laughs> My man. So cool. That ass mama. I love that so much. I want you to get a mask like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to. You're so insistent. Thank you. I'm never enough. You bled me dry, using me up, dissatisfied, uh-huh. and used. Another key to the empty spot in you. I'm sick as a fuck. I'm in my prime. What do you want? I guess it's time to see if you're laughing now. You'll find no peace. Yeah. Oh, wait and wait and feel. Okay, I, I don't remember the song exactly. You're I just heard it, once. it though. <laughs> I haven't felt like this in years. A hope like yours won't help me now. You can do your worst to me. At the end of the day, that's what you do best. You know, one thing Corey does a lot is talk about people keeping him down people trying to control him yes, and stuff that like that true. and i wonder how much of that has to do with his uh his sexual assault i believe a lot of it stems from his childhood i do yeah. believe that does everybody know here that that he was sexually abused when he was younger this yeah. is this is something he said openly um he did it was on another, the sick gentleman show. There the was a great, yeah, there was a great TV show where he was a psychiatrist. Yes, what was his, what was the name of the show? Though? I don't remember. I'll, if I, <clears> I'll, I'll try to find it. Yeah, I'll try to find it and put it in the little screen I was, here. I was just yeah. 
raped by someone in the neighborhood. Okay. It was an old, yeah. It was a, How old were you? 10. Mm -hmm. um, How old were they? 16. Okay. There was really only one person to kind of hang out with, play with. And he was this 16 year old kid and he would invite me over to his house to play music. And one day it became something else. Yeah. Um, but it was a very moving where he, yeah. he really went deep. He did. And emotional. And the ending was, was very powerful. It was. And Corey it was, an, was, it was so a, open. I was surprised how I, open he was. I wasn't though, because I mean, this is Corey we're talking about. He seems to put a lot of it out in his music. Yeah. And he's raw like that. So I, I did expect him to be really open and raw. But the guy, that his, this, he's so brilliant in my opinion, that the, the, the psychologist, the doctor, yeah. the spiritual doctor, I think he, I consider him, he has a way about him that pulls it out of people. Yeah, it's funny. I thought he was like pretentious you thought it was at like first. A gimmick. Like yeah. I thought it was real you gimmicky. It was gimmick. <laughs> um, but it's, I, it's real. But when I watched it, because he had other artists on, which didn't interest me. I understand. And... Uh, some of the other issues were a little, little frivolous. Yeah, like for example, in comparison. Um, we're not gonna name? we're not gonna name names. It's fine. Okay, that's true. But, but you know, I did watch the Corey episode for obvious reasons. I am a fan, and I was curious fan. to see if if I was gonna watch any episode, it was gonna be that one. And I was I was pretty moved by it. It Me was pretty too. powerful. Yeah. I took a bunch of pills at my grandmother's house, and just basically laid on the floor, and my ex-girlfriend's mom stopped at my grandma's house out of nowhere to check on me, to see how I was, found me. An hour later, I'm drinking Ipecac and throwing up into a bucket. Yeah, so I, I, I wonder how much of this uh, comes across in, uh, in why he's so passionate about lyrics like this. I think part it is partly because he's speaking from his experiences and he's also speaking for others and their experiences, I think. He's giving a voice to people who don't have don't have one yeah that's what I think right it's so that experience allows him to be able to voice it to others exactly. so that they could kind of vicar vicariously um, grow from it and maybe feel connected exactly I really to, believe to each that. other I, I do because yeah. as, as we know you know songs that get labeled like suicide songs or depressing songs or violent songs are therapy for 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 a it lot of really people is. because it's it's it f makes them feel like they're not alone and they feel connected, which is what's important in, in scenarios like that, to not feel like you're, you're alone, you know? Because oftentimes family, friends don't, don't know how to help you or don't yeah. even know, that you know? That is very true, babe. I know, and even if I didn't, I would lie. So many would believe it. Listen to that line. I wow. know, and even if I didn't, uh -huh. I would, would lie. lie. So many would believe it. Stand up and resist the chains. Of all the people, the belligerent sick go astray. I wasn't enough. You bled me dry. Which way is up? Oh, you're a lie and fake. And I hope that truth is not too late. That's what you do best. Yeah. And he keeps using that line, that's what you do best, yeah. which is that forte in the title, right? Yes. That That is what you do that's best. That's what you do best, yeah. And it's all very no, baby, negative and toxic. It. Just like that. Yeah. You're brilliant, baby. You just freaking figured it out. Don't embarrass me. Oh, baby. In front of everyone. My people. <laughs> my soldiers. But yeah, so Forte and, and Nero being a very toxic uh, person. Wow. He could be like a representation. Yeah. Um, I guess Caligula Forte wouldn't, um, <laughs> doesn't roll off the tongue quite as easily. Do you know that he hated that name Caligula? Why? Because that's, that's a name that he had as a, they, he was given to it as a child. It's called Little Boots because he would grow up around the army. He was like he was basically an army brat. Okay. So he was like a little mascot, and he would run around. And everyone would call him Caligula, but it was kind of like, like a cute kind of, you know, fun name, not like some sort of scary or or serious gotcha. name. Really? So he, he so... wanted to be grown as gold. The reason why we still call him Caligula today is because people, his detractors, and people who who want to talk shit about him, want to make sure that we're using the name he doesn't like for him because he was such a, such a insane person. It's, he is lit. I, I, 
okay. I'm gonna have to show you Caligula or something, mm-hmm. or, or give you a list of his deeds. They will shock you. I want to. That's, but he was. That's he, too reaction to that. It's weird because he didn't start out crazy, but he became crazy. He got sick, right? And it, possibly a fever or something that might have caused brain damage, or might have just basically w- w- whatever it happened after he got it's sick. Him over. Well, after he got sick, he became a madman. But also, they used iron. Excuse me, not iron. Lead in in all of their stuff so pottery and everything so he could have also been getting lead poisoning in the wine that he drank it could be he was leaching lead into into his wine and he was an avid alcoholic he was also an alcoholic there's so many things but then it's also a strange coincidence that nero who's technically his nephew Uh um was also became insane now it's not as well documented as to how much of it is true and how much of it is is bull. But my point is, is that there definitely were clear issues mentally with Nero as well. And you have to wonder: was it genetic? Did it run in the family? Because it can. Yeah. Was it was it the lead? Which um, the you lead know, is serious, though. I mean, was the lead was still a serious. part of that society. Right. So a lot of interesting stuff. But long story short, these these people were madmen, and they were the ones in power. And so maybe the Nero is a metaphor for someone in power, in power. having control over your life and trying to be toxic in your life. Quite possibly. You know? So maybe Nero is just, just that um, metaphor for power and not necessarily um, what Nero did, but just a, just a symbolism of a toxic person in power, I guess you can say. Very interesting. I agree. Yeah, I mean, this is what we're used to with uh, with Corey Slipknot and the gang. So, Indeed. so very good. Uh, it is third, and it's the it third for yours as well. It is definitely third for me. Uh, so you know, you guys know what to do. Yes. Uh, your job now is to pick the next one in line. Uh huh. And uh, we will do it. So say we all. How many songs on this album? Uh, I don't you know. know. It's usual album, so well, it's got to be like eight or I'm ten. Asking you. It's got to be like eight or ten or something. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. So, yeah. How many songs on this album? We'll wait for an answer. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and uh, the breakdown of the lyrics and whatnot. Hope we did you can take job. it off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. Oh, my God. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Comment below on the next song we can do for what's popping um, for Slipknot. Um, do not leave without subscribing, but also share our content as well. Ding the bell? Yes, ding the bell so you don't miss a beat. Yeah, we only post once or twice a week, maybe three times, so you're not going to get That's spammed with a bunch of notifications. Right. So hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Indeed. Thanks, babe. Yeah, hit the like button so that you can <laughs> yes. verify that you've watched the video. And also it supports us. It gives us some kind of support as well. Yeah. I've started using it as a bookmark so I know which videos I watch. If I'm subscribed to somebody... Uh, I'm going to like their videos whether I like them or not because I want to support them. Yes, so thank you guys. hit the like so you, you confirm you've, you've watched this video and that you can move on. And as always. As always, keep it metal. Metal forever, baby. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. I want you to burn.